It is 1.03 a.m. I can't sleep. So once again, I want to thank J Rider for London, Canada, Calliope Third Ward, Helen Beck. Broke Man Studio. I like to thank everybody. Little Coco, Mia, Tom Kennedy. I like to thank everybody who gave me advice that I took into the courtroom. <sighs> One of the best parts about the whole situation was. They were desperate. Um, and they told me. The judge was tired. The district attorney was tired. So. It ends. It ends with me getting probation. I still got to pay a couple bills. That, you know, I got because of the situation. Like I said, I had to go back to court one last time to clear that. Remember that ticket I got before this whole situation? And when they took my driver's license, I couldn't defend myself on the ticket. That ticket is now $1,000. What would have been a $75 ticket is $1,000. So the judge in this one case, she said, there's no way in life you're going to have to pay all that. I'm going to take care of that. So that's why I got to go back to court. Like again. The information I got from my friends in the beginning. Made all the difference in the end. I know in the last video I laughed and joked. And drank a beer. Talked shit. But I am truly humbled. I've only been humbled twice in my life. And this my friend is the second time. My brother-in-law said, you do not challenge them. You do not tell them what deal you're going to make. And I did. I told them what deal I was going to make all the way to the end. I told them what I was going to give them all the way to the end. I didn't get what I asked for, but they didn't get what they asked for either. So, as far as going to get the civil rights attorneys and turn around to the county, I don't know. Sometimes it's best to let sleeping dogs lie. I learned a lot from those people over the last few weeks sitting in these courtrooms. Like I said, it's up to us to change the laws to prevent police misuse of power. And it's up to us to write bills that become laws to protect the people. I'm not going to talk on this subject no more. The videos that I have uh, turned in private, I'm going to go back through. Since there's no case for me to fight in court no more, I'm going to go ahead and take those videos from being private. I made those videos private because I was going to trial. If they would have saw those videos before trial, well, I probably would have took a shittier deal. So, I talked to you for like five, six minutes, and now I'm finally getting tired. Once again, like I said, I want to thank those people again who helped me in the beginning. Because if it wasn't for me listening to all these people that I've been speaking to for months on this very same subject, it could have been worse for me. The outcome could have been definitely screwed. But like I said in that last video, if they didn't hear nothing from me in 17 years, they're really going to be upset that they tried to give me two years probation because they definitely will not see me. So like I said, this hair is going to be leaving soon. I was going to go into
to the courtroom with my hair cut like it was the day I was shot. I cut my hair and dyed gray for court and bought a new suit. I guess I can wear that Friday to court. Got a series of doctor's appointments I'll be doing with next. And when I reach it, when I make it to this next goal, I'm going to um, I'm going to say a few things. I'm going to give you an update on my personal life, and then I'm going to drop a load on you, and then I'll see what you say then. Uh, it's one o'clock, and I'm well, one on nine now. I'm finally just. Ooh, getting that sleep in. Oh, my video camera no longer reads the battery. Ooh, and I got gas. Ooh, hope you didn't hear that. So listen, my videos, music videos are going to be cut back because first of all, I have to redo this computer and reprogram, put up, reinstall the programs. Whew, that I'll make my beats on and then I gotta figure out what's wrong with my camera and then I'll be back doing music uh, my guitarist is in Nebraska right now um, hopefully he's pushing our music while he's in Nebraska don't hesitate to go see the latest song I did uh, If I Was God the link is um, on the Michael Jackson is Dead video which is being uh preview. Rest in peace Walter Cronkite. Don't think I didn't forget. Maybe he was the last true reporter before news became entertainment. Pretty much like the WWE wrestling. Remember when they had to come out and they say wrestling wasn't a real sport entertainment? Maybe one day our news organizations Fox, CBS, CNN, blah blah blah, ABC and all these big names will tell the truth. News isn't news anymore. It's entertainment. The real news we get from YouTube and places on the internet, blogs and different websites and stuff like that. But before I leave, I'm going to leave you with a little sound effects. These sound effects are from an adult movie. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I figure at the end, the end of the video, you'll understand. So let's see how these sound effects will alter the rest of this video. Well, now that you heard this moaning and groaning for no apparent reason at all, I guess you can't in the video. Oh, whatever I try to set up a funny gag, it don't work. Oh, come on, I'm gonna tell this damn joke so I can get on a little bit. See what the sound. There you go. The county tried to screw me. And in the end, they didn't get what they want. Justice was never truly served to me in this. Taxpayer dollars were wasted for somebody, and they're still going to be wasted. But the moral of the story is this. When somebody's out there trying to screw you, you got to clinch up and keep it together or you will be screwed but until then you've been tubed that's nasty funny how I got the sound effects going and I'm not watching the movie haha <laughs> Oh well, see you tomorrow.